If you're watching this video, you've probably experienced the aching pain of looking down at your MacBook for hours while working on something because you have to in order to see the screen. Luckily, the solution is easy, an extra monitor. But with all the different types of cables and adapters, it can be hard to understand how exactly to connect your MacBook to your monitor. Luckily, that's what we're going to be doing in this video in under five minutes. The first step we're going to take is making sure that your monitor powers on and is fully functional. So we make sure any problems down the line aren't just the monitor being a problem. After confirming that your monitor works properly, we're going to turn it on its side and identify the I.O. ports on the back. Now there are many different types of video ports that could be on your monitor, but the main ones will be HDMI, DisplayPort, or even Thunderbolt. Now, what these differences are won't be necessary for this video, but I'll put a picture on screen so you can identify what port is going to be on your monitor. Now, if you have a port that's called Thunderbolt that has this little lightning bolt on it, it's your lucky day because this is the easiest one we can use. All we need for this setup is one cable, a Thunderbolt cable. Now, I'll have one of these linked down below, but you need to make sure you don't mix it up with a USB-C cable because there are actually different things even though they look the same. One will have a lightning bolt on it and one won't, and you need to get the more expensive one with a lightning bolt on it because one transfers video and one is just for power. The one we want needs video, so it's obviously going to cost more. But once you get this cable, the process is super easy. You just plug one end into your monitor and the other into your MacBook. And it doesn't really matter which side you plug in because they're both identical. Now it should automatically pair to the monitor. And once you go in settings, you can set up your MacBook to be in unison or be as a separate monitor with your MacBook. But what if your monitor doesn't have Thunderbolt in it? Well, let's for this case use DisplayPort as an example. What we're going to do is use a Thunderbolt hub. Mine's from Anchor, but it can really be from any reputable company. You're just going to plug one end into your monitor and the other end into this hub. Now you want to make sure you're getting a Thunderbolt hub and not a USB extension because they are different things. Most times a Thunderbolt hub will be powered separately from the MacBook, so that's a good way of knowing whether it'll work. Also, anytime using anything Thunderbolt related, just make sure to look for the little lightning port on the symbol because if it's not there, it's probably not Thunderbolt. Now we just have to plug the display port into the hub, power the hub on with the included DC adapter, and then plug in the Thunderbolt cable from the hub into the MacBook, and then it'll automatically detect the monitor. Now you can hook up any peripherals, keyboard, mouse, anything like that into your MacBook and have a full-on setup. You can even use your actual MacBook as a secondary monitor to have a dual monitor setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you are now able to use your MacBook in more of an efficient and less painful way. If you'd like to see more content, please subscribe and make sure to comment any other tutorials you might need.